Pre-processing an MVPA dataset is similar to analyzing an fMRI dataset. However, we will omit the smoothing step to avoid blurring the signal between voxels. Keeping each voxel as distinct as possible will help the classifier distinguish between the patterns elicited by different stimuli. Another step we may choose to remove is normalization. In a typical univariate study, normalization is useful for reporting results using standardized coordinates. For MVPA analysis, however, we can instead do our analyses in native space by using subject-specific ROIs. This means that our pre-processing stream will include only motion correction and co-registration. You can add slice time and correction if you like, but in order to speed up the pre-processing step, we will skip it for now. Open a MATLAB terminal navigate to the Haxby data directory and type SPM fMRI to open the SPM graphical user interface. Then click on batch and select the following modules. Basic IO, file dir operations, file operations, named file selector. SPM, spatial, realign, realign, estimate and reslice. SPM, spatial, co-register, co-register, estimate and reslice. SPM, stats, fMRI model specification. SPM, stats, model estimation. When you are done, the batch editor window should look like this. We will now go through each of these modules in turn. In the Named File Selector module, enter a label of your choosing in the Input Name field. For this tutorial, we will use the label Runs. For the File Sets, keep clicking on New File Set until you have 12 sets total. Then, double-click on each set selecting each run consecutively until you have loaded runs 1 through 12 of the data set. We now move on to the realign module. Similar to the named file selector module, highlight the data field and select new session until you have 12 sessions total. For each session that you highlight, click the Dependency button and select the corresponding run. For example, the first session will be Runs 1 Files, the second session will be Run 2 Files, and so on. The last pre-processing step we will do is co-registration between the anatomical and functional data. Since we want to keep any interpolations of the functional data to a minimum, we will use the mean functional volume as a reference image, and the anatomical volume as a source image. Go to Reference Image and then the Dependency button. Select the mean image and select OK. Then click on Source Image, navigate to Sub1's Anat directory, and select the file Sub1t1w.nii. You may notice it won't show anything if the file isn't unzipped. You'll have to go to the MATLAB terminal, navigate to the NAT directory, and gunzip it using the gunzip command. Then return to the GUI and select the unzipped anatomical image. Now that we have set up our motion correction and co-registration, we are done with pre-processing and ready to begin specifying our general linear model. To prepare for this, go back to the MATLAB terminal Make sure you are in the Haxby data directory and type MKDIR SPM results 1. This directory will be the input for the directory field in the fMRI model specification module. Also, set the units for design to seconds and the interscan interval, also known as the TR, to 2.5. 
We will now use the replicate feature of the GUI to construct the rest of our model. With 12 runs and 8 conditions, specifying each by hand would be tedious. Instead, click on Data and Design and select New Subject Session. When you click on the Conditions field, select New Condition to create empty fields for that condition. Double click on Durations and enter a value of 24, indicating that a boxcar regressor of 24 seconds will be used to model that condition, just as they did in the original Haxby paper. Click on Conditions again, and then select Replicate Condition 1, until there are 8 conditions total. Then fill in the name of each condition with the corresponding condition names. Bottle, Cat, Chair, Face, House, Scissors, Scrambled Picks, and Shoe. When you're done, the conditions should look something like what I have on my screen. Now go back to the Data and Design field and select Replicate Subject Session until you have 12 sessions total. For each of the Scans fields, select the corresponding Resliced Dependency from the Realignment step. This will take some time, so I'm going to slightly speed this up until I finish doing it, but you should see the basic pattern of how to fill in each of the scan fields. Once you've finished doing this, select Model Estimation, highlight the Select SPM.MAT field, and select a dependency FMRI Model Specification SPM.MAT file. If you wanted to finish filling in all of the timing fields for the GLM, you could go back to the FMRI Model Specification module and enter each of the timings by hand for each condition in each run. This would be tedious to do for each subject, even though we only have six individuals in the current data set. Instead, we will click on File, Save Batch and Script, and save the script to the Haxby data directory as Haxby underscore script. This will create a script of MATLAB code reflecting what we entered into the GUI, and we can edit it to insert code that will automatically load the timings for each condition. We will learn how to do this and a few other tricks in the next video.